What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Brother Devin sent me a particular video the other day. Uh, it was very, very interesting because it, it included this TikTok video that our brother had in his response to Kevin Samuels' original video. And Kevin Samuels was talking to a, it looks like a single, a single mother. I don't know why she's calling into the show, possibly trying to get roasted up. Um, in, in my opinion, you know, we already know what he's going to say about her, somebody in her situation, which we'll find out. But she's trying to find out, you know, um, what she can do. And, you know, she's a homemaker. Okay. Now, homemaker. Now, this is pretty funny because the definitions have changed a lot. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead here and um, play that clip, Tati, of the clip here, and we'll talk about it together. What do you do for a living? I'm a homemaker. Second, a homemaker. You you in construction? <laughs> no, I'm, I I take care of my kids in my home. I'm a stay at home mom. How are you stay at home mom without a husband? Okay, you heard what she had to say. Okay, and I think this is the the problem that we are getting. Um you know mixed up because she used the term homemaker and you know it, it's what we consider you know a, a hypernym okay that's a word with a broad meaning consulting a category in which words with more specific meanings fall homemaker then is synonymous with a wife Okay, in linguistics, stay-at-home mom is something associated heavily with a wife. All right. However, she's saying that she's making these homemakers. She's a homemaker. She's stay-at-home mom, which means she doesn't have any income. That much. She's probably on some sort of you know government assistance. She's taking care of her kids. Now you're calling in the Kevin Samuel show because now you're looking for somebody to take care of those kids. And if you look at the post, what do you see? The post that by this chick will blur her name out. This guy's an asshole. Someone has to take care of the kids. Where are the daddies to those children? Daddy, daddies. You're a homemaker. You're taking care of the kids. Someone is taking care of the kids. The government's taking care of them, most likely. If she is not working from home, social media business, or, you know, working from Zoom, which I don't think that she has a lot of income, well, what is she doing? The taxpayers are taking care of it. So you don't want to be a wife. Because if you did, you, I mean... You'd already had forced the guy to be married. I don't know if you divorced him or not. You, you, so you're already, already a homemaker. You're already a stay-at-home mom. But you ended up doing these things, and you didn't want to be a wife. Why? But let's use terms, hypernyms, that are associated with what women, wives do, and let's apply it to women because we can't. That's that's the thing now. So now we want to like make being a single mom like it's totally okay. It's totally fine. And the reality is, for some folks, it is. But in her situation, obviously, it's not. She wants a what? High value man. How do we know it? She's calling into Kevin Samuel's show. She wants a high value man. So when you want to come to the table with something, what are you coming to the table with? Someone else's children. Bills, weaves, sandals. Not that that's bad or anything. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of wigs and weaves and sandals. That's what, you know, they, they, they like. Nothing too bad about that. 
but the children of someone else. That's the problem. The problem. That's the problem. Okay? That's the issue that we have. All right? Weaves, wigs, and sandals. Okay? That's the reality. So I'm, 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 I have nothing to give this guy that I said I want to be with. I'm going to come to the table with these children. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I figured out... I had to watch the whole entire show to know what her mentality is. I figured out I can't do it all by myself. Let's call Kevin Samuels and then get some high value guy to help me with these kids. Help me with these chillings. And the answer that you're going to get from me is no, 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 no. Like Beyonce. No, no, no. I'm going to help you do shit. Okay? You should have thought about that way, 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 way long ago. I didn't work this hard in my life, bust myself every day for all these years to get to where I'm at to take care of your kids. I just didn't. I'm sorry. No. I don't have any problem with your kids. I don't dislike them. I don't dislike you. You can take care of them, though. Not me. You're a homemaker. Make your own home. I don't want you and them in my home. I don't. I'll make my own home. Sorry. Thank you. In a sitting voice. Thank you. Thank you real quick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was saying you're going to. Uh -uh. Thank you. Uh-uh, thank you. No. You're going to get your ass on. Okay? And now you want to be a wife added to that, but you didn't think about that at first. That's the problem. And if you tell people that, wait, wait, you're a homemaker. You build houses? No. Okay, so what do you do? Yeah, basically, I take care of these kids because the, the, the guys I was with don't want to take care of them. And now I'm looking for you to come over here and take care of them. No, 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 no. And that's why people are, are so mad at Kevin Simmons in the Black Minister, because we're going to tell you guys, don't do it. Go to the guy that you got with and dealt with and work it out with him. These are his kids. And let him take care of you. Because I'm not taking care of you. All right? I'm not taking care of you. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first comment in the top. Check out the black Minute Perfect t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I am out.